So about a year ago, uh, Johnny Hunt gave me this challenge. He said, Is, isn't Jesus worth spending at least an hour with in the mornings? And that, that really convicted me. And uh, I knew, of course, of course, Jesus is worth spending an hour with each morning. And I think of A.W. Tozer, who on average spent five hours in prayer every morning. And if you read Tozer, you realize this guy, he knows God. He knows God on a level deeper and more intimately than I do. And so we all know spending an hour with God every day, every morning, spending five hours in prayer, these are good things, good things to do. But if you're like me, you always make the same excuse, I don't have enough time. And now that I'm church planting and really my schedule is, uh, I can kind of set it for as I want. What I find is I still don't spend five hours in prayer. I still don't consistently spend an hour with Jesus every morning. And I think we really use the time as an excuse. And we think, well, if I didn't have my job, or if I didn't have this, uh, then I wouldn't, I'd spend more time. But re the reality is we just use it as an excuse. If it was really a time issue, vacation would be times of intense spiritual growth and reflection as we spend more time with Jesus and in prayer than ever. But most of us don't spend more time in prayer and more time in worship and study during vacation. We spend more time sleeping and more time eating. Some of us even skip going to church and worshiping with other believers while we're on vacation. And so I think what we need to do is stop saying that the problem is time and start admitting that the problem is our own hearts, that we don't desire Jesus as much as we want. And I think if we start there and we humbly come to him and say, forgive me, I just don't desire you like I should, that's when real change will happen. It'll put that passion for himself into our hearts.